students in this session i am going to discuss solution to the test yourself question based upon the gold number concept gold number of hemoglobin is given that is 0.03 hence 100 ml of gold solution will require hemoglobin so that gold is not coagulated when you add 10 ml of 10% nacl right this data is not required as per our trick what we want we want gold number and we want volume what is our formula gold number equal to number of milligrams of lyophobic colloidal solution is added divided by volume of solution into 10 gold number is already given that is 0.03 this one we want to find some milligram x milligram we don't know this x how much divided by volume of solution how much is given students 100 ml is given so take that 100 here into 10 so how much how many milligrams of lyophilic colloidal lyophilic how much we want 0.03 into 100 divided by 10 then we'll get 0.3 milligram of lyophilic colloidal solution is required what is our answer 0.3 clear next question the coagulation of 100 ml of a colloidal volume is given 100 ml of a colloidal solution of gold is completely prevented by the addition of how much starch 0.25 g of starch to it before adding 1 ml of 10% nacl solution means if when you are adding 0.25 g of starch to 100 ml colloidal solution so that it won't undergo any coagulation means you are protecting this 0.25 100 ml of gold solution by adding 0.25 g of starch that is your question you have to calculate gold number so gold number what is the formula number of milli grams of substance that is lyophilic colloidal solution is added to volume into 10 how many grams it is given 0.25 1 gram is equal to how many milligrams 1000 milligrams so convert the given gram into milligram so into 10 power of 3 milligram divided by volume of solution how much students 100 into 10 clear then how much will get 0.25 into 10 power of 2 then which is equal to 25 is your gold number understand that's it simple thing is you have to understand what is what exactly the gold number is which i discussed please don't uh, solve the questions without listening the explanation which i gave and follow this simple trick so that you can solve it milligrams that colloidal should solution um, lyophilic should be and volume should be in ml that's it and no need of using whatever nacl data given in the question no need of this data that's it i hope you like this video thanks for watching